Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Henry the Weeder Man. I appreciate uh, the views and stuff and some of the comments and people asking questions. You know, I, I'm just a general guy. I'm nobody special. Um, definitely not a movie star or anything like that. So anyways, what I'm doing is today I'm going to go over cylinder bases. I just want to kind of cover it with you so you kind of kind of um, so you can uh, understand what you're going to deal with. So uh, I got my tool for holding the piston. I got my tool for crimping the piston rings down and the bases of the cylinders. That's the discussion today. So this is a very flat base, very nice, easy to work with. This tool works really well with it, as you can see. Love it. Nothing fancy. This is off a of BR420, I believe. How about that? I still remember. Just like a FS90. Um, this doesn't have a flat base, so the tool becomes cumbersome. The edge is not tapered. The edge on this is not tapered, so the rings don't just slide in easily. So you do have to use your compression tool. You do need to have this to help you with both of these. This makes it cumbersome because it comes on wobbly, so you got to be careful. You don't force it in. So you can see that raised edge. That can lead to a problem, unlike the flat edge. Then here's another flat. This is a flat edge, but still threw a twist in it and raised it. See it? How it goes up. So... I put one of these together. I did do a video on it. It was hard. It does uh, give you some complications. It's not tapered. So that's another one. So another base that you see is called a clamshell. As you can tell, shaped like a clamshell. So it's clamshell. Now, this one here is tapered inside, right? And it will compress the rings for you. But you still got to be careful with it, and you still got to lubricate it. So I do mark my cylinders, not all of them, but I do mark some of my old ones. And I did this one for demonstration. So this is called a clamshell. So on the bottom, it has a, another shell that locks the crank in. And that's the base. So those are some of the styles you'll see, raised, flat, partially raised, and clamshell. Pretty, pretty simple. So those are cylinder bases that I've dealt with out there. I kept them around so I could do some video and show you guys. All right, I'm at my two-minute rule. If you got any questions, go ahead and send me a, an email or, uh, uh, yeah, send me an email or do a comment or ask questions, and uh, I'll try to respond back. Anyway, the Weed Eater Man, out.